Hi everyone, this is a very special video because I was tagged to do this video by the one and only Mel in Melbourne. If you don't already know her YouTube channel, you are missing out, especially if you're a luxury handbag enthusiast like I am. Mel has an amazing collection and she just has a really warm and lovely personality. Her videos are lots of fun, so I'll link her original tag video down below in my description box. And then also the person who started this tag originally is Tabby Violet, another YouTuber, super fun, super cute. She has such an adorable family and also has a wonderful luxury handbag collection so I will link her video down below as well so a lot of the people who were tagged to do this video did 10 handbags so the topic is the best low-key luxury handbags that you own or that you can think of I'm doing five handbags that I own as you can see here one two three four five I don't have up to ten that I can show you because realistically I don't really have that many luxury handbags I try to have more of a minimalist curated collection I try <laughs> and uh, a lot of my designer bags look designer so for the purposes of this video where we're talking about low-key kind of low attention type of designer bags I could only come up with these five the last one is a bit controversial but stick around and I will explain my thought process so I'm gonna start from the left here and let's pull this baby open let me get over here this is like a total zoom in type of video, really, really up close. I don't know if it's too op up close or what, but does anyone know what handbag this is? Let's see here. This is the Celine Trio in the large size. Now, if you're not familiar with Celine or you're just not familiar with designer handbags, you would have not been able to guess that potentially. This little sign here that says Celine Paris is so small. So even if you were to wear this on your shoulder showing outward, again, only those people who are interested in designer handbags would know that this is designer. If you wanted to be even more discreet and wear it backwards like so to hide the Celine name, you can do that and it would be totally, totally low key. I love how the zippers are really the prominent feature. There are three compartments here, one, two, three, all detachable, although I find no use in doing that so I've kept them all intact. Just really slim, really slim. Blender. Actually, let me move these back a little bit so I can give you a better look, not be in your face too, too zoomed up or, or oh, I'm all tangled here. Not too, not too close. Okay, so there you have it. It's got this attached, really, you know, nice leather strap. It is adjustable, as you can see here. I love how this bag lays on my body. It's just very feminine, very sleek, slender. Because it's not bulky, it doesn't protrude. It just lays really nice and really flat. And I did do a video dedicated to this bag to show what fits inside. And to my surprise too, I can fit more than I thought. And you can actually put even bulkier items because it does hold up, especially if you wanted to put them in the middle compartment to remove any bulk showing from the front of the bag. So this bag is uh, more roomy than it looks. And it's just really classic. It's got a really simple silhouette. So I had to include this one in this tag video because it is very much a low key, Kind of minimalist style bag that does not draw a lot of attention at all when I wear it. Okay, then we move on to bag number two. This one also happens to be a Celine bag and for those of you who've been on my channel before I think you'll be able to guess. Wow, you guys can see how I store all of my bags here because you can see I'm very kind of OCD. OCD about how I wrap my bags. I do this with the Celine because the leather on the outside is very smooth and polished and uh, could be prone to scratches, although mine has held up very well. But I do wrap it so that the sharpness on the buckles here don't scrape the uh, exterior of the bag, the leather here, while it's in storage. You see here. So this one is a forever bag for me, super classic once again. Celine I think does a really nice job of coming up with just timeless designs and shapes. So it is all smooth box leather and then it has this leather strap that is adjustable and I like to wear this shoulder or crossbody. It has the aged brass hardware. You open it up. The inside is absolutely delicious with all smooth buttery lambskin. So nice. And it's got really nice compartments. 
And you see it has this accordion style and it's quite roomy. It's a little on the heavier side, but we're talking about low key bags here. This is definitely a low key bag. You cannot see the, the name where it says here Celine Paris until you actually unbuckle it. So if you wear the bag like so, no one will know again unless they are a Celine fan or a designer handbag lover like us. It's very quiet. It's very understated. Okay, so that was bag number two. Let me move on here. This one is a different designer. This one is going to be Givenchy. So here is my Givenchy Antigona Mini. Now, this one, I may get some people who disagree with my choice, but I do think this is very understated. It is a unique and cool sort of structured design but if you don't know Givenchy and you don't know this bag and you wear it like so it could be any brand even if you wear the bag forward this way the Givenchy name here is quite small compared to the size of the bag I think that this is also a classic some people have argued this is now out of style I don't tend to follow that I don't really follow trends I'm also usually very late to trends because I take my time with my choices I'm very mindful about my decisions to add to my collection so whether this is in style or out of style or what have you I just love it I think that it's a very classic bag it's very roomy as you can see it's got this nice wide base sort of this triangular side and I think that it really does a lot to pull an outfit together I especially love it in this beautiful goat skin it's got this like sugared caramel color to it and this one comes in other sizes but I prefer the mini size just because I don't carry a whole lot with me here's the chunky zipper by the way there are in-depth videos on every single one of these bags on my channel so I'll try to link them down below in the description box if you want to get more information so there's bag number three does it have feet oh it's got the leather tabs for the feet as well if you were interested on the mini size okay let's move on to bag number four this one here is my Chanel. Again, you can see how I store everything. This is my Chanel wallet on chain, or often referred to as the walk. Now, I know that Chanel is not necessarily understated in the designer world, but if you carry a small little wallet on chain like this one, and it doesn't have the big CC logo, it also does not have the turn lock, it's just got this really small little hardware there that's it I think this is very simple and quiet it has the caviar quilting small little pocket in the back if you wanted to be super discreet you can wear this facing outward but I think it'd be a little annoying because then the flap would be against your body and it'd be hard to access your belongings I have worn this everywhere I usually wear this casually but I can also dress it up I can take this grocery shopping to the dentist office this does not attract any attention at all because it's small and it's so um, it, you know it's just it's miniature and it lays against my body again I think that size has a lot to do with it here you've got a very delicate feminine chain it's not huge and chunky not super noticeable anytime your strap has some hardware though like it's a chain more than a leather strap it may attract a little bit more attention just because of the bling factor the shininess of the chain the metal but I think with this one it's pretty understated still especially for Chanel and I had to include this because the truth is for me and my lifestyle this is a low-key luxury handbag because I usually wear this in a very casual carefree manner so that's bag number four and then I did say that bag number five is quite controversial I think it is so here it is the last bag I have to show you it's from Louis Vuitton and I think you're gonna get a reaction here okay so yes it's monogram this is the pochette accessoire monogram generally I would say is not low-key because it is branded very obviously but it's sort of the same concept as the Chanel wallet on chain the size is quite small it lays really flat against the body let me just show you really quickly it's only about an inch longer than the Chanel walk and the rest of the dimensions are quite similar so it 
it's very um, miniature again, and it's just simple. There is no there are no embellishments, no extra hardware. It's just one simple pouch. I have my stuff in here actually because I went to Costco today, and then I also took my uh, son to pick out some glasses. So you can see I've got my stuff. This has not drawn any attention at all, especially because I wear this very low key. Now I'll show you. Where are my straps? So it comes with the short Vachetta strap, right? Which is this one, and I actually haven't used it because I'm not really a short shoulder strap kind of girl. But there's this. You could also just carry it, just like so, in your hand. Super low key, I think. And then I ordered this longer matching Vachetta crossbody strap, which I love. I love the quality of it. I ordered this from Organize My Bag. And that's how I wore it today. That's how I wear it frequently. I also have a gold chain. You guys probably saw that in my other videos. I showed how to style this multiple different ways. The gold chain, I think, draws a little bit more attention. Again, going back to that shininess of the metal, the bling factor. So I think for a more low-key effect, the leather works best. Recently, I ordered from a different Etsy shop. Uh, a cotton wide band crossbody strap that I saw on a friend of mine uh, speedy travel bag she's on Instagram I saw a lovely photo of her wearing this with that wide cotton banded uh, crossbody strap and I had to have it because it looked even more low-key super casual and really comfortable right because if you have a thick band it's very comfortable on the shoulders so I just received it but I won't show it here because it's not with me at the moment it's in another room and this is this video is not all about Louis Vuitton and it's not all about only about the pochette accessoire so I don't want this one here to steal the thunder of the other bags but yeah what do you guys think do you think that monogram can be low-key or do you think I am out of my mind I would not have included for example any other Louis Vuitton piece that I could think of I would not include my uh, pochette Matisse never that's not really low-key uh, it's bigger it's got the shiny gold hardware it's just a little bit more noticeable, I think, than this pouch here. I also uh, would not include the Speedy or the Neverfull, two bags that I don't own. I probably will never own. Um, but those are seen a lot on the streets, and those are very obviously designer. They're just sort of, they're just all over the place, and you can you notice them, especially because of the size. But this one, again, is so small. I wish you could see how it lays on the body, I have a bunch of mod shots on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me there, it's Hello Catwalk City, same name as this channel. And uh, yeah, I usually just, you know, super casual. So I had to throw in a Louis, even though I think that monogram is a bit controversial in terms of it being low key or not. But for me and my lifesty lifestyle, this is definitely low key. So let me bring out all the bags in no particular order so you can just get a clean shot. This was actually a really fun tag to do. Um, I do think that Louis Vuitton Epi leather and the Emprunt leather are much more low key if you didn't want to go with the canvas. It's going to be pricier because that's leather. For me, this canvas feels super easy. Yeah, it's just really easy breezy, carefree. I throw it on whenever, shorts, t-shirt, um, sneakers. But I could see how maybe some of you might shy away from anything monogram when you're trying not to be um, noticed, I guess, for lack of a better word. Like, I, I don't really like uh, a lot of attention. As you can see, I don't show my face here on this channel. Um, so I love this topic of low-key designer or luxury handbags now if i were to include contemporary designers i would also include my coach rambler 16. i know that's not really considered a luxury brand it is more a contemporary designer but there is literally nothing on that bag that would tell you that it's coach i think it goes with anything and everything it's a casual bag super cute so i won't throw that in there because then i'll be breaking the rules of this tag um, but I just wanted to mention that too. The Coach Rambler 16 is such a, such a cute little mini bag. And I think it's perfect for a low key kind of on the go grabbing type of, you know, little crossbody. So there's my five. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually have a video comparing my Celine box with my Coach Rambler 16 side by side. This was a requested video by one of my lovely subbies a while back and I just haven't had a chance to get to it. So I'm going to be sharing that right after this video. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any 
you know, new upcoming videos, I would love for you to join this community. Leave me comments, questions, anything you'd like down below. I love interacting with you guys. And thanks once again for, for this tag, Mel. And thanks, Tabby, for creating this tag. Okay, till next time. Bye, guys.